Customers are routinely blown away by the quality when they open our boxes. That's the number one feedback that we get was, holy crap, the pictures did not do it justice. My name is Chet Peters. I'm a co-founder and owner of Millspin Manufacturing here in Columbus, Ohio. What sets us apart from your average manufacturer is that we are a retail manufacturer. And so we are, we manufacture parts, but we're not a job shop. I mean, we are manufacturing parts direct to consumer. So we're selling retail products on an online retail store that we manufacture here in Ohio on Herco machines, and they're going straight to the customer. So we don't deal with middlemen. We come up with the ideas, we manufacture the parts, and we sell them directly to the end user. So when we first started looking for a new CNC mill, it was because we had hit capacity from our existing machines. And we, you know, we started with some relatively, what people would call hobbyist machines, just out of necessity. So we, we had to start with things that we could afford. And once we hit capacity, because those are low power, low chip removal rate machines, when we made the leap to buying Herco's, it was because we needed to remove more metal I knew right away when I saw her go, just the presentation of it. Um, and then I, I witnessed one cutting and I had never seen that kind of consistent power coming out of a mill uh, of the size of the VM10Is that we, we run right now. My name is Ezekiel Perez and I am the shop manager for Millspin. I started about two years ago. I left the culinary world, I was actually a chef before uh, I was a machinist and came on here as a machinist because uh, I wanted a career change and started from the bottom, worked my way to the very top and here I am two years later running the show. So when we got our Herco, I remember that day, it was uh, in October and when it rolled in, it was like watching a Ferrari get rolled in. <laughs> like, you know, on the showroom, like is huge game changer for us. When they rolled them in, I told uh, one of the owners that you're going to want to buy two more right off the bat. Like in six months, you're going to want another one. And he was like, you're right. I know I am. Six months passed and we had that talk and uh, they wound up buying two more. And it was, it was awesome just watching them get rolled in. Same as the first, like we had three now. It was a complete game changer for us. And since then we've exploded in growth and our ability to manufacture in America. Uh, all of our parts, everything is made here. We don't outsource anything. It's really user friendly. Um, basically, if you're, you wanna compare machines, you know, like, like different brands, um, a Herco is essentially like, like the iPhone. Very user friendly. One of the most, one of the easiest things to pick up. Uh, the guy that I have running them now is actually a 20 plus year machinist. Uh, very experienced in a lot more complex machines. And when he showed up, he picked up learning the Hercos. Like it was just different language and different settings. Two weeks and he was running. You know, those are some of the, and he loves them. Like <laughs> those are some of the most amazing machines he said he's ran. Um, real easy, uh, a lot of safety features. Um, a lot of other machines, if, if you're, uh, if something is off, you, you've made scrap parts. Uh, on the Hercos, I have yet to come across uh, an issue where I've actually had to scrap a part. We can save them. Like, it's, they're just amazing machines. My absolute favorite thing about the Herco is the interrupt button. The amount of times I hit the interrupt button just to make sure that a cut is doing what I need it to do mid-cut, it raises the spindle, it stops and shuts the coolant off. I can, blow the, I can blow my part down and do an inspection in the middle of the cut. I'm talking like five, 10 seconds into, into running any code, I can stop it. I can make sure that it has the surface finish that I want. And then if it looks good, I can just hit go and it goes right back to where it was. I don't have to hack into the code to restart it. I don't have to um, rewrite the code from scratch, eliminating, you know, cutting out the, the first part that I already ran. Um, interrupt button is the best feature that I've ever seen on CNC mill. We're on the verge of making a large leap to targeting and selling bulk orders of 
corporate branded goods. So we, we see that there's a market for um, large corporations to buy large quantities of branded gear for their company around Christmas time. And so whether it's keychains or uh, multi-tools or um, bottle openers, the, the same kind of EDC continuation of the products that we currently manufacture, we want to bring in, um, but now offering large corporate bulk orders. Um, we want to be the go-to company that when your company needs to send out Christmas gifts to all of your people with your brand on it, we want to outfit your entire company with those customized high-end American-made products that are all going to be cut on Herco machines.